my beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Capricorn, we will just dive right into your reading here today and see what's going on for you. This is for about a month into the future. And I'm doing this sort of about a week into February. So maybe a little bit into March as well. Or whenever you find this, just think sort of a, a month into the future. What is going on for Capricorn, please? We're going to start with an overall energy. And we're just going to go deeper and deeper into the message. And then at the end, there's going to be an extension. If you feel drawn to this reading, you can come to the extension as well, if you will. Capricorn. Ooh. Capricorn. That was a surprise. So that could be a message for someone that at the very last, like I for sure thought that I was done shuffling and I was just, just about to sort of start over. And then the final two cards just came out. And so that could be like a message for some that it's just, you didn't think it was happening right now or you thought you thought you were at the very end. So like, how can there be result of this? Because we're at the very end. You know, there's there's no more. So how can it be more? You know, that type of feeling. And then, and then like, like a surprise almost like, oh, there was two more there or there was the result. So if there's something you're waiting on to hear or, or you didn't think it was going to sort of come about this time around, like, oh, I have to wait till next time or I have to wait longer or whatever, you might be surprised that it's actually coming out earlier or not maybe, maybe earlier than you thought because it feels maybe this is something you've been waiting on. But like when you thought it wasn't going to come, it actually comes anyway. So we have competition, uh, summoning courage and self-confidence. This is one my 180 card. It's like going full full speed ahead in one direction and then sort of almost having like an epiphany or like an aha moment and then just turn everything around. That sort of fits the feeling of the energy there as well. Like we're going in one direction and then and then like doing a 180 situation like we're just turning everything around because these two cards actually came out. With the moving forward, and you know what, uh, Sagittarius had this as a, as a um, foundational card as well. So maybe you have like a, maybe you're a cusp sign that you're just, you're born right in the middle of Sagittarius and Capricorn. Like you're just coming out of Sagittarius and you're just coming into Capricorn. That means that you're a cusp sign or you could have Sagittarius in your chart or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, yeah, I just want to say Sagittarius had this as well. Uh, but you are, you're having these two. So there's a combination here of moving forward. Maybe even in this way. Moving forward in one direction, but then having a 180 moment, like doing something completely different. You might even surprise yourself. So let's see what this is about. Why is this here for Capricorn, please? Why is this here for Capricorn, please? Do you have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea? Cheers. Why is this here for Capricorn? Hmm, it flipped but didn't come out. Trapped in fear. So is there something that you have felt like this is never like this never ending story? This is never gonna end. You think you're at the very end of something and you don't see a change, but then there's the aha moment or, or the 180, like you're doing a 180 here and everything is going to turn around. Literally everything is, turn, is turning around. Look at that child sitting on that tiger. She or he is very happy if we could. Like, yeehaw, we're so happy to go in a different direction. <laughs> It flipped but didn't come out. So this is not too heavy, but there might be a feeling of, of being stuck or like this is not really going anywhere. When in fact, just out of the blue, there's a big turnaround and, and oh yes, it will. Why is this here for Capricorn? Yeah, it takes a bit for the cards to come out. 
either you feel like this is the longest in history whatever you're dealing with or you just feel like it's tough like it's like ah oh, what's taking so long you know but then it just sneaks out there mental conflict <laughs> sorry for laughing but there's something on your mind something i'd say i'd say one you know this is not this is not um fair because it's actually you know half of you if we just sort of look at the brain half of the brain like 50 percent, is already like out in bloom 50 percent is out in bloom and like are thinking in new ways and are thinking about the future in a different like this is your 180 but the other half of you is stuck the other part of your brain is stuck like the other part of the brain doesn't see the shift doesn't see it's very squared it's very boxed in like no it, do, it doesn't change you know it's just going to stay this and then the other side is like but maybe it is maybe maybe you know this could happen or maybe this could happen like maybe uh there's those opportunities and like it's a very open very open mind that's why it's a mental conflict it's like you're going back and forth here whatever this is there's enormous enormous spiritual strength and what I find with this card here today or with this energy here today, what I'm sensing around this is like, you know, sometimes we're putting ourselves, okay, so it might look like, it might look like this very thing that you're going for. So let's say a car, just a house, a relationship, um, a new bike, I don't know, a new sweater, whatever. I'm just trying to be very like hands-on so it's easy to understand the analogy that I'm using. Um, not that you're stupid in, in, in any shape or form. The little noises here that sort of freaks me out a little bit because I'm not used to those noises. <laughs> so I do apologize if I feel a, bit, a little bit jumpy. Um, regroup. Okay. Um, right. If you're going for something that looks very like 3D, practical, hands-on, you want a bike, you want a relationship. Um, and that bike just never for the love of life shows up. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how much you put forward that you want that bike. It doesn't matter how much you put forward, how much you want that relationship. Like it doesn't show up. And you're, you're sort of caught, you're going back and forth. Like one part of you really believes it. One part of you is planning for it, is preparing for it, is is, you know, having the dream of your life in your mind about how this is going to turn out. And the other part is like, Meh. but it doesn't come. It doesn't show up. Where's my freaking bike? You know, where's my freaking relationship? Sometimes we're, it's almost like we're creating, we're creating certain things because you know, going through that certain thing will strengthen the bond to source. If you lost your touch with source a little bit, if you maybe don't, meditate as much as you usually do maybe do yoga as much as you usually do whatever you're it doesn't have to be meditation or yoga it can be you're listening to music which connects you to, to source or dance or get lost in doing some knippling in swedish whatever that's called in english kneipel um no, i have no idea uh it's like whatever you're doing that sort of brings you in contact with source Maybe you lost touch with that a little bit. Um, so you're not so in trust, in fullness, in whole, in love, in health. Like you just, you, you're, not, you're not there. So you're using your bike situation to get there. Does that make sense? Sometimes we're holding things apart from ourselves on purpose, unconsciously but still on purpose so that you will strengthen the bond to like the only way to really get your bike. If you were to sort of stumble over your bike and so the bike sort of came into your life, you wouldn't start to meditate because there's your bike, right? Or if you stumble across a lottery win and there's your money and then, you know, you go out and buy stuff, but you still haven't made uh, a connection to source. Does this make sense? So there's something right now that you might hold yourself apart from because in the very in the very closing of the gap between you and source, 
there's the bike. In the very in the very closing of that, like in the very coming together with your source, there's the relationship. So it's like there's something that you're it feels like there's something that you're holding. You're moving forward and you're doing all the right things. This is called get ready for positive change. Everything will turn around. Every single thing will turn around. It will be even be probably like a surprise, like a 180 feeling, like on a dime, nothing, 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 nothing. And then on a dime, everything. And Capricorn, this is like, it's almost, <laughs> it's almost like, um, it's almost like you're on purpose holding it apart from yourself because you know, you know that if you can't get to this, eventually you will sit down in that meditation so that you can have that sort of full, eventually you'll get back to your paintings. Okay, where's the only place I find like to not be this frustrated or to come back more into alignment? Oh, well, it's when I paint. And then there's, there's the paint and then you sort of find alignment with source and there's your bike, you know. On, the only way forward is to connect with source. The only way forward is to connect with source. What else can we tell beautiful Capricorn about the situation? The only way forward, that is a good title. The only way forward is to connect with source. I'm going to write that down because one might think that that's easy to remember. <laughs> the only way forward is to connect with source. Also, everything will turn around. Turn around. We'll see which one feels better at the end of this. Or at the end of the extension. Why is this here for Capricorn, please? Can we go deeper into this message? What else do they need to know here? Ooh. Now it's getting easier and easier. And look at this. The high priestess with the emperor. It didn't quite, quite. It didn't quite. It didn't take quite. Taken quite, it becomes quite. Just so you know. Because I'm really good at English. Um, it didn't quite as much time. Uh, it was much easier to shuffle and much easier for the cards to come out. So as you loosen up and as you start to connect with source in however fashion you want to do that, meditation, yoga, painting, singing, listening to music, walks in nature, whatever, um, there's two uh, spiritual borders here. There's a purple and there's a spiritual border. So there's like all about connecting with spirit. And one is the high priestess which is very much about, um, this is saying powerful psychic insights, reflection and, and meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. So this is recommending making that connection to source, um, which we already saw. And the high priestess is all about also finding out things about yourself. Like this is what I mean with, you might even want you want to find out your true purpose. You want to find out your psychic abilities. You want to be on a more spiritual path. You want to recognize that you are like a superhuman. You are so much more than meets the eye. Right? And so there's stuff laying dormant or hidden inside of you that you want to reach. And maybe you've even expressed it. I want to have a greater connection with my loved ones from the other side. I want to be able to really have a strong intuition to really like sense what's going on in the world or going on around you or going on around you or going on with like whatever choices you need to make or whatever this is. Like you want to strengthen that bond. And so what do you do? Then you don't do that. And then you put yourself in a situation to strengthen this. It's like you are the high priestess, but we need a bike that you don't allow in for you to go strengthen that bond. Does this all making sense? Into the emperor. 
the emperor knows this is what you're reaching this is what you're going for the emperor knows the emperor the emperor is is structured uh, efficient going after what he wants and it doesn't matter like if you're a wham <laughs> if you're a wham <laughs> a woman or a man is also a wham um what was the first one i already forgot anyway it doesn't matter if you're a wham uh the high priestess could be for a man and the emperor could be for a woman obviously this is such a, this is almost like a power couple right here. This is like the most, like the high priest, recognizing the high priestess inside of yourself and recognizing the emperor inside of yourself is like the most powerful being. Two is all about balance and four is all about the heart and laying a new foundation for yourself. It's really powerful stuff right here. We're looking to be more, we're looking to be more structured. We're looking to be more efficient when it comes to making that connection to source in however way you do it and you know it's not that big of a price to pay that you have to paint if paint is some something that you love it's not that big of a price to pay to sing if sing, singing is something you love this is not like in order for you to go uh, to to connect with source you have to deprive yourself of something or you have to really feel miserable for three months in order to get this it's this is actually you know it's calling you to do whatever you love that's making you get closer to source and that in in turn is gonna is gonna have the 180 situation Going deeper still, I just realized we have two number twos coming out here. The high priestess and the mental conflict. So we need to find balance in our mind. Like the mental conflict needs to stop and, and you need to start to recognize your abilities. Coming into that balance. Two, two. And this is a two, two month. This is, this is the most, most twos we could have. What else here for Capricorn, please? This might be the final message before we move into the extension. Capricorn. Ooh. Challenging times. Yeah. There is definitely like, okay, so this is sort of there with the mental conflict. Number five, number five is overcoming challenges. Number five is overcoming obstacles. It's moving forward. It's, it's a great opportunity for change. There is a little bit of a, do you see the guardedness on your part? These are challenging times and there, th this is like the mental conflict. Like going back and forth and back and forth in your mind about like, I can do this, maybe not. I can do this, maybe not. Um... It's, it's a little bit, bit of a guardedness on your part, like n to not wanting to sort of completely just open up the heart and trust that this is going to take place. But the more you release this armor, the more you release this armor, the more you climb the vibrational ladder. You're just going to get higher and higher up. This is, this is a call for help. This is like uh, to reach out your hand and ask someone for assistance Ask someone to get you going, to just take that next step. It just feels like it's that one little shift that will just sort of get you going. And there's a little bit of mental conflict and there's a little bit of a, a guardedness going on around this whole thing. But at the same time, it's a great opportunity for change. And as you, as you start to move, as you let go a little bit of that, as you start to connect with source, you're starting to climb the vibrational ladder. You will get higher and higher up. And the, the further up you come vibrationally, the easier it's going to get. Like from the beginning where I felt like the, you know, the shuffling was really tough. And then the shuffling just got easier and easier. And so the higher up you get, the easier it gets. And the easier it gets, the higher up you get. Like it's such a good spiral to get into. But we have to start to let go of the guardedness a little bit. And the guardedness can be, 
you're not doing the very thing that allows you to connect with source. You're not doing the very thing that allows you to come into your creativity. Start doing that Capricorn and you will turn things around in a second. I'm going to take this into the extension and see what else I can find here for you, Capricorn. So if you feel like this is your story, um, you might get some more information there in the extension. So there's two ways to get to the extension. One is Vimeo. I, I quit the you can buy. You can only rent there um, for 48 hours and I cut the price in half. And the other one, I don't want to use it. <laughs> and the other one um, is to go buy me a coffee on this donation site, buy me a coffee or however many cups of coffee that you like, that you think that the extension is worth or to just support the channel. Uh, both of those links are in the description box down below. If you don't want to come to either of those, that's perfectly fine. Then thank you so much for watching. I do want to ask you to subscribe to the channel. If you feel like you're like resonating with me and resonate with the cha this channel, it really would help me a lot if you subscribe. Uh, but obviously only if it resonates. Thank you so much for watching. See some of you guys in the extension.